All right, so today I got a pair of Nike Dunk Off Whites. Lucked out online and hit on one of the pairs uh, from Nike sneakers that dropped. It says Nike Dunk Low L-T-H-R-O-W Leather Off White. $170 is retail price. And I got a size 9.5, true to size for me for Nike Dunks. Let's go ahead and show you guys what's in the box. Hey, what is going on guys? Has here, collectivekicks.com. If you guys want to shop this week's top sneaker deals, check the link in the description and happy shopping. Also, if you guys want to buy a pair of the off-white joints right here, check the links. I'll try to post a couple places that sell them on the aftermarket. Here is the box. This thing is crazy, man. Super, super chromed out box and Nike swoosh on the top, Swiss cheese on the side, Swiss cheese on the side and the front chromed out Nike swoosh right here. This like reminds me of a chromoly BMX bike from back in the day. It's so hard, the camera's not even focusing on it. Anyways, let's go ahead and show you guys the colorway that I got. The one that I got was this one. Not necessarily the one that I wanted, but the one that I got, and I beggars can be choosers, right? Box says University Gold and Midnight Navy is the colors of the sneakers. And if you guys didn't know, two of the three colorways were like inspired by the OG colorways of the original Dunks way, way back in the day. And actually Nike retroed a couple pairs of them like maybe two years ago and the quality was insane butter, super nice on them. And for some reason, uh, the hype just wasn't there on those shoes and the prices were super low. I mean, they went to outlets and everything. And now I kind of want to get a pair of those so I can try to maybe customize like a high top version. Maybe I'll do that because they had the blue and gold ones and they had the white and gray ones and the shoe looks really different. It's polarizing because of the crazy laces over top. So it's a double set of laces, which we've seen a lot of recently, but I can't get over the quality of the leather yet. I, I honestly don't know if this is good quality or just okay quality. I mean, it's not terrible quality, if you will, but it's not like amazing. It feels like it's decent leather. 170 for a pair of Dunks is kind of high, but it is what it is. Um, Dunks, honestly, are one of my favorite sneakers. I've always loved the Dunks better than even like the Air Jordan 1s, to be honest. In fact, I have an entire sneaker row uh, behind me that is all Nike Dunks. But this is a blue and gold colorway. You do have the off-white detailing right here with the orange tab and some laces that have like an orange effect as well. It's almost like an infrared um, colorway. It's really interesting. And then we've seen this on a couple other pairs, but the, uh, the lace tips are dipped in wax all the way up to like right here, which is kind of cool and like a blue. And then you actually have that for the orange laces, but the regular laces are just regular. Blue and gold does say shoelaces on them. You have a little tag here made in China. And then the zip tie, this one just says Off-White Co. Nike 2017 zip tie. Weird that it says 2017 instead of 2019, but uh, I don't know. Then on the inside here, you have the Off-White branding. It says Off-White for Nike Dunk Beaverton. Um, and then it says 1985 on the side, which is the original release of the Dunks. And um, yeah, it's kind of a nod to, again to the older pair. One of the coolest details about the shoe that I didn't really notice until I got them in hand is the tongue is actually leather here. The interesting part is, is it's a raw edged tongue too. So they actually took a, uh, a sheet of leather, threw it on top of the nylon and made it like a nylon rough edge tongue like we were used to with the off-white, like a nice leather tongue raw edge uh, effect of that as well. So nice job on that. Then also for the additional laces, you could see there's a couple different lace holes here that they have punctured through the shoe with a little bit of like fly wire or something like that coming up and holding down the top laces. And I gotta say, at first you look at it and you're like, gosh, that's really weird looking. But the moment you actually get these on and put them on feet is the part where you kind of appreciate them a little bit more. Like the top down look of the shoe is so wild. It throws you off because it's so crooked and it makes you look like literally somebody took a handful of laces and just threw them on top of a shoe with all of the different things here. I mean, it looks like a pile of garbage with laces everywhere. And just as an example, this is a regular simple $90 pair of Nike Dunks. And then you have this, <laughs> like all of this crazy noise on top of it. Just wild and crazy looking, but kind of like it. And I'm super happy that I was actually able to get a pair of these in hand just to appreciate the shoe that much more. I mean, it's one thing, there's a lot of hype behind sneakers nowadays and some of them are just purely driven from the hype and people wanting the shoe because it's somewhat limited. And then there's other pairs that drop on the market that are a little bit innovative and a little bit different and they add a little bit of extras and their own twist on the shoe that, I mean, this is from 85. So like, what else can you do to this shoe? 
and he did something that's crazy. And I, I mean, at first I didn't really appreciate it. And then you get it in hand and then on feet and I'm like, ah, I kind of dig it. Like I actually really like him. So this would be one of those shoes that as soon as I got him, I'd be like, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to keep those or not. Like it, maybe the colorway is not really doing it for me or just the overall look. I didn't really like it. And then you throw them on and you're like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I get it. I'm I think I got to make room for these on the sneaker wall back there uh, for them because I actually really like what I got. So thankful that I got my uh, my size, thankful that I got one of them. And uh, the Hits of Neon is super nice, a little extra on the shoe. That's kind of just a general look and an overview of the the Dunks, man. I mean, really nothing super groundbreaking. There's a couple differences on the shoe that definitely make me go, okay, yeah, like I appreciate what he did and I'm happy that I was able to, to get a pair. And, Definitely going to be keeping a pair, so definitely worth buying, in my opinion, if you get. Obviously, you know that the resale is a little bit higher. I think it's upwards of fours or fives as of right now. It'll probably go down at some point, and then maybe, who knows, back up. I honestly don't know. Uh, do you guys get a pair of these or not? Leave a comment. Let me know. Which is your favorite colorway out of the three that dropped? Personally, I would have loved to see better colorways drop. Anyway, thank you guys for stopping by and watching. I have a ton of other videos uh, in the backlog. Leave a comment in the comment section what video you guys want to see next. I have Yeezy 500 high tops. I have the Yeezy Reel. Uh, 350s. I have uh, the Dornbecker Air Jordan 14s and I have those crazy wild animal print Air Jordan 3s. Those are four pairs that I'm going to be planning on doing videos in the next couple days as well as uh, some of my end of the year uh, wrapping up 2019 videos. Uh, but anyway, hopefully you guys are interested in the content. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel and or if you guys want to be notified, hit that notification bell of when I post. Have a great rest of the day. Happy holidays and more videos soon. Peace guys.